morning students welcome to the class i am teaching you the same chapter chapter number 7 health and hygiene class i have explained you about the acquired diseases acquired diseases are of two types communicable and non communicable diseases communicable diseases are classified on the basis of the organisms that causes these diseases they are caused by the pathogens such as virus or bacteria fungi protozoa and worms they can spread through an infected person or through various modes like water air food and organisms known as vectors means air water food and organisms known as vectors what are vectors vectors means an insect or something that carries or a carrier of a particular disease from one living things to another now the second point is diseases caused by bacteria dear children bacteria bacterial diseases includes any type of illness caused by bacteria bacteria are a type of microorganisms which are tiny form of life other type of microorganisms include viruses some fungi and some parasites million of bacteria are normally lives on the skin or in the intestines of our body the vast majority of bacteria do not cause diseases and many bacteria are actually helpful and even necessary for good health or a healthy um, good health you can say them or these bacteria are referred as a good or a healthy bacteria harmful bacteria that cause bacterial infections and diseases are called pathogenic bacteria bacterial diseases occurs when pathogenic bacteria gets into the body and begins to reproduce and crowd out healthy bacteria or to grow in tissues that are harmful you know, or known as normally known as steroids now harmful bacteria may also emit toxins that destroy the body now we learn some more diseases about the bacteria the first disease is tuberculosis 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 means tb tb is a dangerous and highly uh, contagious bacterial disease caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis it primarily affects the lungs but if left untreated it might spread to different parts of the body there are two different types of tuberculosis pulmonary tuberculosis and extra pulmonary tuberculosis pulmonary tuberculosis and extra pulmonary tuberculosis it can cause severe uh, severe system such as coughing up blood weakness as fatigue sweatings at night 
pain in the chest, weight loss, fever. Uh, these all are the symptoms of TV. How we can treat TV? The drug treatment is one of the most efficient way to treat this infectious disease. Now, TB vaccination is also there. The incubation period. What do you mean by incubation? Incubation means, means between catching a disease and the time when signs of it means when symptoms appear. Means as when a person is caught and the, when the symptoms is appeared, the time between that is known as the incubation. The incubation period of TV is 2 days to 12 weeks. Now, the second disease of bacteria is cholera. Cholera is caused by the bacterium Vibrio cholerius. This type of bacteria usually present in contaminated food. It is also found in the places where there is a lack of sanitation facilities. It is caused due to the contaminated water supply, consumptions of contaminated foods, vegetables that are grown with the use of water, with human waste, Symptoms are high fever, weight loss, increased thrust, vomiting, BP becomes very low, heart rate is very high. Doctors advise to drink a lot of ORS, oral rehydration and symptoms. Oral Rehydration Solution. There should be lot of sanitization where the patient is kept. Now dear student, there is one more disease that is type 5 which we can learn in the next class. You have to learn these two. Read the chapter and read these two diseases nicely. Thank you.